Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the undercover swing case storage system for the driver's side of all 2002 to 2018 Ram 1500s. Very simply put guys, you should be checking this out if you're looking for convenient ways to organize some of the smaller items that you need, some cargo items such as jumper cables, maybe some tie downs, things like that, without having them bouncing all around the bed or taking up space inside the back seats or underneath the back seats. Now if you're looking to use the underseat storage area for other items and you're looking to optimize that storage capability for your bed. This is a great way to go with a case that tucks in on the driver's side of your bed and conveniently swings all the way out for you to easily use it without having to hop up and down the bed. Using it is so easy, there's a pull cord right here, or a pull handle that swings it out toward you and then you can twist and open it up for easy access. It, I didn't move at all, it's super easy to use. All you have to do is drop your tailgate and pull that handle. Now when it comes time to put it back, you just swing it back like that and it latches so it doesn't bounce all around. Now the nice thing about this is it's made from high impact resistant ABS plastic. It's got a nice matte black finish so it blends in really well with the bed since ours is Linex or powder coated here. It holds up to 75 pounds of cargo which is pretty significant for something like this. It is lifted up off the bottom of the bed there so it easily swings out without rubbing anything. You get two inches of clearance at the top end so it fits a lot of tonneau covers that don't come down really deep into the bed there and it obviously fits with all undercover bed covers. Another nice thing about this is the locking capability. Not only does the lid lock here, and it comes with two sets of keys, it also has a pivot lock in the bracket system, so no one can come and actually lift it off of the bracket system. So you might be thinking, well, if this locks, then anybody can lift it up. Not going to be the case. You obviously have something locked here, and it uses the same key. Now, that's something that I really like, especially if you don't have a tonneau cover that would otherwise cover it. You can have some security there. Now this guy comes in right around 250 bucks. Install wise, I'm giving it one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It does put a couple of holes inside the bed here with the bracket system and two more right around that wheel well area on the inside of the bed there, but they're self tapping screws so you don't have to break out the drill or any drill bits. All you need is an 11 millimeter deep socket. You can get those guys right into the side of the bed easily. There's two pieces of brackets that you put together then you bolt it up. And it's literally a matter of putting them on the door hinges and swinging it in to lock it. Super simple, take you about 30 minutes or so from start to finish. Now before we get started, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use it from the handle here to the locking mechanism and then I'll walk you through the install. Now I quickly wanna go through how to actually operate and use the undercover swing case. Now obviously when it's tucked into the bed, it's super easy. You can lift the tailgate and you can see that it's tucked up nicely. It's almost nondescript, you can't even see it. When you drop the tailgate here, you have one little yellow handle and you pull straight out towards you and it unlatches and it easily and smoothly swings all the way out. And you can keep it flush in here and you can bring it all the way out until it hits that rope there for the tailgate and it comes out toward you. Then you can open it up just like that and use it. Now you have keys here, you have two keys. You get a spare or an extra one. You can pop open that cover and lock it so that no one can open this guy. Right, so that's completely closed. Unlock it, rotate it toward you, swing it open, just like that. Now inside here, you have this tray that's removable with some storage underneath of it, segmented from the rest of the case here. You can drop that on to cover up that storage section. Obviously, it's very organized. There are little notches in here, so if you wanted to build maybe some small two by fours, you can obviously segment that as well and add dividers, if you will, more of like a do-it-yourself type of deal. But overall, the inside there is completely usable space. Lock that back up. All you have to do is push it and it latches in by itself. It's super easy. Little effort, swing it back in and it latches just like that. And obviously with that pivot lock, no one can just lift it up. That's something I'd recommend honestly just having on there at all times. And then if you wanna just remove this guy, you can unlock it like I showed you earlier and pull the whole thing off. Easily tucks away, doesn't really take up that much of the bed. Tools used in the install include an impact gun or a ratchet, 11 millimeter deep socket, and I also used a universal swivel joint. First step here, guys, we want to assemble the two brackets, putting them together before we actually put anything back on the truck. Now, the two brackets include that striker plate that extends outwards so that when your swing case swings through, it latches on. That's gonna bolt up just like this. So we're just gonna connect those two and put the two 11 millimeter nuts on and tighten them down. All right, with that guy through there, we're gonna take the two 11 millimeter nuts, just gonna thread them on by hand, hold it in place, I'm gonna use my impact gun with a swivel joint and an 11 millimeter just to get on that tough angle and tighten it down. 
Next up, let's take the entire bracket system and line it up. So you want to make sure this tab is facing outward. And you want to take a look at the inside, right next to where your tailgate seats. You have a couple of dimples here in the truck body. Now ours is line extra powder coated, so yours may be paint matched or however you have it fit. If you have a bed liner in, these may not be visible, so you just want to make sure that you're taking a look at where those are and making marks if you need to. Now, when it comes to lining them up, you can see that in the bracket there are four holes. This upper hole, the one all the way at the top, is going to line up to this dimple here. So you want to skip the top one, go down to where there's two of them, and the one on the inside of the bed is going to be your reference point. That's where bolt number one is going to go, and then we'll tighten down the rest of them, and then there's two more inside the bed. So we're going to hold that up in place, get your 11 millimeter socket and one of the self-tapping screws in that socket, and tighten down that top one. Right, takes a little bit of pressure to get that guy in there, but now with that one in, it holds up for the rest of them, and now we can tighten those down. Now I'm gonna go down and do the bottom one so it really holds it in place. You just wanna make sure that this part is flush so it's not sticking up. Make sure it's completely flush. Grab your next one and tighten it down. Now you also wanna make sure you're not over tightening it because you don't want it to strip out. So once it starts making that impact and getting really snug, slow down, get a turn in, make sure it's snug completely and completely tight and then we can move on. Ours is looking pretty good now. Do the same thing for the rest of them. Now we have two more on the inner bracket against the inside of the bed. All right, follow that bar all the way out. There's the latch right next to that. There's two more that go right into the side of the bed. Now we just want to clean up all the metal shavings. You can grab a shop vac or a rag, blow them off. From here on out, super simple. The hard part's out of the way. At this point, you want to take a look at the tabs already bolted up to the inside here of the swing case. We're going to drop that onto the hinges on the bracket we just bolted up to the truck. So you basically want to lift this guy up, line it up so they're both over top of those pins, and you're just going to drop it on. Just like that. Swing it in, and it hits that locking latch. Now it's locked in. And of course, pull that tab to swing it back open. You can access everything inside of it, easy peasy. Swings all the way out just like that. You can lock it shut, swing it back, and it's out of the way. Now next up, you might be thinking, well, the top of the box locks, but anyone can just lift it up off the brackets. Well, that's true, unless you install this pivot lock that comes with it. The pivot lock slides right on top of this, just like that, right into that section there, swings in, and then you can grab your key and lock that. Now that's locked in place. You can still operate the cover, but now no one can just lift up on it because this locks that pivot swinger into those hinges so no one can lift up on it. And you use the same key you use on the lid on that guy. So if you wanted to remove it at any point, you can just take that off and lift it up off the brackets. Super simple to put on and really quick to pick off. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the undercover swing case storage system available for the driver's side for all 2002 to 2018 Ram 1500s. With that said, get yours right here at americantrucks.com.